Yeah, man. Just getting ready to start the dinner rush. But I figured before I do, I'd lay down a track or two, you know? Come out here by the water and get inspired. I was hanging with the kettle boys yesterday. We had a good time, we got some time to play. We slipped away from every daily day routine. Had a good time, if you know what I mean. We had the 12 gauge raised up to the sky. Shooting the ducks and watching them die. Having a good time blasting them out of the sky. What we gonna do? Ho ho ho, that's right. We gonna keep on rocking, never, never stopping. Until the break of dawn, we got it going on with the kettle bottom boys. We'll make some noise, boom, boom to the sky, that's right. With the kettle bottom boys, we're making some noise. Making ducks fly right out of the sky. Killing the geese too, that's what we do. Recognize, that's how we roll. Right. Cool. What we got here is a couple different things. I've got some awesome blue line tile, which is caught right off of the Virginia coast here. Tile fish, it's real nice in the grouper family. Very, very tasty, flaky white meat. And I've also got, it's a little under the radar. I killed it myself, so I can't serve it to the public, but you guys can tear it, tear it up. Uh, this is some nice Canada Goose right here. I've had it marinated for about 36 hours. A nice blend of sesame oil, some raspberry, a little balsamic vinegar. Uh, we're gonna let that all chill out, throw it on the grill, slice it up with a little cranberry and walnut reduction. And the towel fish we're gonna do with a lemon caper for blanc. See that goose, got it going on, nice marinade. I like to cook it medium rare, just like a steak. But uh, we'll pop this big old fat breast here. Right on a hot grill, get that thing going. I do it about five to six minutes on each side to keep it nice and rare, medium rare on the inside. And then we'll get working on that uh, reduction. Uh, for the tile fish, a little olive oil. I got a smoking hot pan, like I said. I want to get it real, real nice and hot. I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of butter. Season up that fish on the skin side so we can get a nice crispy crust on that skin. I'm gonna pop it right in, skin side down, in a hot pan. Get it going there. Season that again with a little kosher salt, a little fresh cracked pepper. We've had that goose going for a minute or two now. Got some nice marks. We're gonna crisscross it. Put those nice fancy crisscross marks on there. Then we get to where we want to be. We might let it rest for a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and slice it up real thin. Get that uh, chutney going. Sometimes it'll be a little stubborn. You give it a little help. Now you can see we got a nice crispy crust on that skin. We do let that get seared on that side. We're going to deglaze it with just a little bit of white wine, pop her in the oven, finish her off in the oven, get her where she needs to be. Meanwhile, we're getting our pan hot for our chutney, which is going to be, like I said, dried cranberries, walnut, a little bit of white wine, a little honey. Let that reduce down, it's going to go great over top of that goose press. We deglaze the bottom of that pan, you get all those nice bits of food that are stuck on there all. Everybody's happy, we're going to put that in a hot 500 degree oven and magically, it'll be done in about five or 10 minutes. Pop that goose breast now, we got our nice grill marks on there. It's cooked real rare right now. We're gonna go ahead and pop it in a hot oven, finish it off. Our tile finish is looking good. Pull that guy out, you can see it's nice and flaky, moist. So I have some creamy polenta we made here, which is basically a cornmeal based, uh, like a grits almost, basically. We're gonna put a little bit of that on there. Just gently set that off to the side. I've got a little lemon caper for blanc here, which is just a lemon caper cream sauce. And we'll just drizzle that right around there like that. For this chutney, we're gonna use a real hot pan once again. A little bit of olive oil. Start off with a little bit of butter. A little bit of garlic. Get that going. Hit it with our dried cranberries. A little bit of toasted walnut. Get all that rock and roll in there. Just gonna start to open these cranberries up a little bit. And hit them with a little kosher salt. Then we're gonna deglaze with some Cointreau, which is orange flavored liquor. It smells good, but I'm working. I'll wait till after work, right? Okay. If the fire department don't come, just gonna reduce that down a little bit. Let those cranberries open up. I'm gonna hit it with just a little scotch of white wine. Turn that down on low. Let that simmer while we pull our goose press down. We'll finish up our chutney. You can see those cranberries are starting to open up. The natural sugars are going to come out. 
kind of thickening up that sauce if we reduce down a little bit. So with our goose breast, we want to make sure we cut across the grain so it's a nice tender even cut. We don't want to cut with the grain that's going to make for a chewy grainy uh, piece of meat. So we'll start from the high side here, cut on a little bit of a bias right across the grain. As you can see, that's a nice rare. It's going to be delicious. Some people like it a little more than that me. I'm going to do it just like that. So we're going to take a little bit of mashed potatoes. Take a couple slices of that nice rare goose breast. Hey, I'm here right now with Abel and Will. We snuck away from camp and we came down to see the multi talented Johnny Moe at Mallard's in Onancock, Virginia. We got some fresh goose breast, some fresh tile fish he just cooked up fresh in the kitchen, and we're gonna dig in. We had a great hunt this morning. We're looking forward to a great hunt tomorrow. Hey guys, cheers. It's been a great time. Yeah. Eastern Shore, Virginia. Doesn't get any better than this. Damn Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you are catching some duck. Make sure you catch a couple of goose. And make sure you learn everything you need to do when you're watching Kettle Bottom Outdoor Pursuits. Yes, they got the styles and the tricks of the trade. They're going to show you how to do it each day. Make sure you don't miss it when you see them tonight on the TV. Hope you get away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's delicious. A goose. How's that towel fix? Oh, awesome, man. Perfect. Is it like, all the way through? Yeah. Yeah, that's good.